What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So today I have a Nilfgaard deck for you. Uh, as you can see by the uh, title of the deck, it's a Mage Nilfgaard deck, uh, which is kind of strange. Why on earth am I playing a Mage Nilfgaard deck? Well, uh, with the last patch, we had one card change. Uh, this is Frangilla. Uh, deploy damage in enemy unit by two, increase the number of targets by one for each adjacent mage. So it does not increase the damage that it deals to one unit. So if your opponent has a four point engine that you want to kill, Frangilla does nothing. I mean, she does two damage to it, and that's about it. Uh, so she's not good for removal in terms of engines, but she's good with one card that's really, really strong, uh, and that card is Regis. Uh, Frangilla screams Regis, uh, and I decided to play a Mage Nilfgaard deck on stream today, um, and it actually did pretty well. We won the first four or so games in a row. Um, it, it, it did very well. Uh, we, we actually queued into a mirror. Somebody was actually quick enough to net deck and we, we queued into a mirror. So that, that, that was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, the basic idea is it is a Regis deck. It is kind of like a, a combo deck. Uh, you use Frangilla to set up that Regis in round three. Um, one of the nice things about Frangilla is you could play it with Calvite. So what I typically do is once I get to round three, I will play something like Vico Novice and I will put Regis on top of my deck with my leader. Uh, so that when I get to playing Regis uh, at the end of round three, I will play Frangilla. Um, I will set up a nice Regis, and then I will use Calvi to pull Regis, and I will wipe an entire board clean. Um, or at least that row. Basically, it is the equivalent to a Tainted Ale. Uh, the difference between this card and Tainted Ale is this has a body attached to it. Um, and it can't get removed by Artipak for removal, so... Um, there's also another interesting card in here that I will get to when we get to it, but, uh, yeah, we'll go through the list. Uh, the games that I have for you today, they might not have Tibor in it because, yeah, or Cantarella. Cantarella's, uh, I'll get to it. So, uh, Calvi's really good with the deck because you can combo it, uh, with Regis. Uh, Tibor wasn't originally in the deck. I started putting him towards the end. Um, what I like about him is, A, if you need the extra points in round one or two, Tibor is pretty good at doing so. Uh, but more importantly, he kind of helps with Regis. He puts another unit on the board. If you're pulling a card from your opponent, um, it's not that bad, right? If you pull a three strength unit or four strength unit, uh, your Regis is probably clearing the board anyways, or that row anyways. So yeah, why not? And every now and then it'll pull a strength unit where you actually need it to do more damage. So sometimes Tibor can... Uh, pull out a unit that you can actually utilize to get more points. So uh, yeah, I think Tibor is pretty good. Uh, if you want, you could drop it. Um, I used to have Letho in this deck. You could play Letho instead. It's up to you. Uh, Roach, obviously really good with the deck because uh, it gives you early round one tempo uh, and it works well with the Sire. Swears uh, wasn't originally in the deck, but this card's insane. I don't know if you guys have played much Nilfgaard, but if you have... This card's stupid good. Uh, in Mirrors, you get to pull their uh, Roaches, which is the difference between winning a, uh, winning round three and not winning round three. It's good against Deathwish. Um, worst case scenario, it's a nine for 10, which isn't even that bad. It's a good card. Every now and then you queue into Northern Realms and they play Queen and give a shield to a unit and you steal that unit. Now you have an engine. Uh, yeah, this card's really good. Very, very good card. Uh, Serret, it's good removal. Uh, Frangilla, we mentioned earlier, combos very well with the deck uh, with Regis. Um, it does increase the damage based on how many mages. The mages that we have in this deck are a Sire um, and Vico Novice. Technically, Vader Makar, we'll, we'll get to it. Uh, but yeah, th those are the main ones. So typically, she's uh, hitting like two to three units. Um, I, I usually have a Vico Novice in round three. So yeah, she's usually doing anywhere between four and six damage. Yeah. Uh, Scepter of Storms. This card allows you to spawn one of the three weathers. People ask why I don't just play another Fog instead of this. Um, because sometimes I like the rain. Sometimes I'll play against an enemy and they'll have a shield or they'll play like Wind Windhelm and I'll just use rain on it. Uh, sometimes you, I don't know, you won't have Frangilla so you need to set up that Regis another way and so you bank on rain or you bank on frost. Uh, just the flexibility is nice. If you really don't like the card, you can play Fog instead. It's up to you. Um, yeah, a Sire, really good with Roach. So Vader Makar. Um, this is actually the reason I built the deck. Um, I pulled this off of an Uma from a different game, and I, I looked at the card and I went, oh, it's a 5 for 7, and it increases row effects. If you increase one weather, it's a 7 for 7. That's not bad. 
especially because weather already is good value, right? Fog is an eight for seven. Vader Maker makes it uh, a little bit better, and Vader Maker is a seven for seven. And if you have two weathers on the row, you increase both of them. So in theory, it could be up to a nine for seven. So I thought, meh, it's pretty good. And it's a mage. It synergizes with the deck. Why not? Uh, and it's, it's, it's actually decent. Um, to the point where I almost added another fog to the deck, but I ended up cutting it for Cantarella, which I'll get to in a moment. Uh, but yeah, I, I suggest trying Vader Maker out. He's fun. He's good with weather. Who would have thought? Uh, Ox, obviously, going to be included with Serret. False Siri. Uh, people are playing a lot of Summoning Circle. It's a good card. Uh, if you they don't have an artifact, your worst case scenario is you just move a unit to get more Regis value. That's not bad. Uh, Albrick, obviously you need this card to set up combos. Uh, I like 90% of the time hit Regis, uh, put Regis on the top of the deck. If it's not Regis or I already drew Regis, uh, it'll be something like Swears, Serret, or like a Sire. Cantarella, so why are we playing this card? Um, yeah, it's a one point spy. So it does have extra value with your Regis. But for the mirror, I'm running this for the mirror because if your opponent plays Albrick, you just take their card and win the game. Or they play uh, Fisher King, you play this and win the game. It's like a Treyharn, except you get to actually play it and it has bonus synergy uh, with Regis, which is always a good thing. Uh, and there's a decent amount of Albrick slash Fisher Kings on ladder, so Cantarella is just pretty good. Um, yeah, if you don't like this card, feel free to cut it. You play another Fog, you play Letho, you do what you want. I don't know. It's a fun card. Uh, yeah, it could be like a four-point card. Oh, well. Uh, it is a nice card to play in round one uh, to pull out Roach because the, the rest of the gold, other than maybe Albrick, you might not necessarily want to be playing in round one. Uh, so eh, it has that benefit. But uh, yeah, feel free to drop it. Fog uh, works really well with Vader Makar. Scepter Storms is not enough for Vader Makar to get consistent value, so you need that Fog. Vico Novice, I mentioned earlier, you use it to combo with your leader. You play it on the back row, um, and you put the card that you want to be pulling off of a uh, leader with it. So this is typically typically going to be Regis. Alba Pikeman. So this is like the opposite of Northern Realm's Trebuchet. You play it on the melee row, uh, and it damages your opponent's units on their melee row. Um, nice thing about this is... People respect this card and they play around it. So what do they do? They stack the ranged row. You know what card punishes row stacking? Regis. Uh, yeah, so obviously it does very well with the deck. Uh, Infiltrator, another good card. You can play this early on if your opponent dragoons it. Yay, your elbow pikeman might not get moved. Cool. Uh, worst case scenario, it's a four for four and it messes up your opponent's deck. Uh, Nazca Sergeant's just a good card. Cutthroat. Um, it's all right. The bleed is kind of nice. Sometimes, I don't know, let's say you need a two on their side of the board, you can bleed a four down to two. Whatever. Uh, and Tercent Knight, just a good card. It's a four for four. If you win coin flip and they go first and they have tactical advantage, uh, you'll typically get six value out of this thing. Uh, if you're against monsters, you'll typically get good value. It's a pretty good card. Uh, worst case scenario, you, you help set up your Regis. So uh, yeah, it's a fun deck. Um, typically, you do want to win round one. If you don't win round one, it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah. Uh, you, you can blow Cal V early if you really need to. Uh, typically, going down multiple cards into round three is bad. So uh, do whatever it takes <laughs> to make sure you don't go down multiple cards. Uh, if you do get into a long round three, you're going to be favored. Um, the other reason why weather is good in this deck is because Regis does uh, a very good job at cleaning out small units, right? Like one through five is very easy to do, but let's say your opponent plays like a 10 point card or like Immune Dragon and Squayatel, where you're playing against Monster and they play a Spear Tip. Uh, your Regis is not gonna clear that. It's just not gonna happen. Well, Fog can help with that, right? Fog can bring that card down. So Fog, fog is really nice because it's just, it, it takes that tall unit that you normally wouldn't really be able to interact with, and it, you know, it lowers it. Uh, you, you could play Leo in the deck, but Leo will brick too often, um, so I, I would not suggest playing Leo. Um, yeah, I hope you guys give the deck a try. It is a lot of fun. It's a very interesting take on Nilfgaard. Um, I guess the closest similarity would be um, Spy Nilfgaard. Spy Nilfgaard used to play, like, uh, Enforcers, Emissaries. Uh, and like Prince and uh, the other two points by that I'm not going to remember off the top of my head, uh, basically to set up Regis. Uh, this does it much better because it's not dependent on enforcers or engines. This deck is, there's no contingent, like it's not, it's not dependent on anything. You just get to round three and you're good to go. You just, you draw Regis or you draw it without brick and then you just, 
It just works. I, I don't know how... Like, I put this deck together as a meme because whatever. Fringilla, nobody's played the card. I, I'll play it. Why not? How bad can it be? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah. Give the deck a try. It's a fun deck. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm, one no, Northern Realms matchup is going to be interesting. Dude, Joey, calm down, all right? <laughs> Take it down a notch. How is Ethne tier one? All right, what's tier one if Ethne's not tier one? Regis isn't even a mage. I know, but like, it synergizes because this can set up Regis. Pumpkin is listening to shit anyways. Oh, feels bad, man. We'll change the music. Did you guys see it? I saw it. What is this? Hard pan? What kind of outfit is this? That is not an outfit. All right, whatever. Stand and fight. A weird ass outfit. Fairly. Show it. All right, here, open this up and look at the girl on the left. What kind of outfit is that? Wait, Your Excellency. Falling behind. All right, we play this as long as it doesn't boost to Cynthia. I'm happy. Just great. Twitch streamer outfit. <laughs> no, but seriously, what, what kind of outfit is that? That's a monk ass outfit. Sticky is good. Yeah. Wait, how many provisions is... Oh, you can't pull out tokens anymore. My latest masterpiece. Behold it! Saw you playing a dope Arnold Regis deck the other day? Yeah, I, I played one at the beginning of stream today, too. There's two different variants. There's Shoop and No Shoop. I don't know which is better. But basically, just play, like... If you want the Shoop, play R&R, &R, play Shoop, Resistance play Regis. <laughs> child's play. Yeah. Basically it. And play Fisher King. But I don't have a list. I'm sorry. Golem is 0p. Why well, run stick if it's always fog? Because it's not always fog. I might use it for rain. But I run stick for Vader Makai. I don't know. 1p is not a big deal. I don't need the p anywhere else. Sounded weird. I used to have artifact removal. And I removed it. Course, as you wish, Master. Ha. Down with a mirror. Ha. 
The golem is 0p, you can tell because Arnold pulled it out for seasonal ah, mode last season. Oh, I didn't know that. that. That's interesting. It's Dagon, not stick. No, it's sticky Dagon. Sticky boy. Um, so this is five turns with Vader Makar. Ah, I can wait one turn. I could, I could kill this, but I think it's incorrect. This is a knight. Nice. Oi, oi, oi. Do we go rain? We ride no, we don't go rain. We the two. We can fog. Creates more revenant targets. Yeah. How many points is this? Three? I don't give a shit about three points. Oh, I could have increased it on the back card too. I keep forgetting that this is all row effects, not just one row effect. I need to keep that in mind. Do you have night? Oh shit. This world dies with What? It's correct. Trust me. What the shit is that? It's me. Yeah. <laughs> straight and ever strike your foes you'll never take me alive <laughs> you just gave us a full melee board wipe one two three one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Use my magic as if it were your own. Aha! Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh no, it's the mirror. Oh no, no, this this he doesn't watch my shit. Oh, it's, it's a not different truck. No, nobody met that. No, 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 me, no, 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 Ricardo, no, 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 Ricardo, no, no, no. Yank Steve, thank you for the 16 noms. Welcome back. Are there actually 16 noms in there? I mean, that that would have actually been like smart. Now I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Eh, you ruined it. It was almost good. Eh, you ruined it. Feels bad, man. But if he plays Treyhorn, that'd be pretty bad. Just finish watching the podcast, go caster? What do you mean? I can't just snap my fingers and go become a caster. It's not how that works. Technically, there are 16 noms in there. Yeah, that's true. Off to the front yet again. Don't YouTube Hikardo? Wait, what's wrong with Hikardo the White Wolf? There's nothing wrong with Hikardo. What do you have against Hikardo? No door is closed to me. How to skip round one? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. 6, 4, 10, 15, 29 is a tie, so I'll have to play the 6. I can live with that. For the Emperor. So for all Gwent streamers who became casters of Quick Gwent... Oh. Shit, I guess we can't cast them. I always find a way in. How do you cast Gwen if you don't play it? I don't know. That's 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 a good question. That is a fantastic question. I mean, you can still cast it, it's just... The casting isn't going to be as good as it could be. Which is whatever. I mean, Emmy is good in the deck. It's bad against Slaves. I need to find Weather, though. Weather is more important. Don't all casters play Gwent? They played Gwent at one point, but some of them don't play very much Gwent. Then by stealth. <laughs> Alright, let's try this playlist. Oh, Vader Makar. Yes. I don't think I like this playlist. <laughs> that was not in the spell books. So I could put Regis on top and like combo with Fringilla for setup, but then it means we're not finding these gold cards, but I guess 
I'm just assuming that we're not finding them. It's just kind of shitty, but whatever. I can live with it, I guess. Okay, it has to be shoot. Come on, stalkers! We ride! Wait your excellency. Falling behind. My young baker is acting up. I shall be as I can't play this because it's random, and if it boosts the emissary, I lose the game. So, we have to milk some milkmaids. But I can't play this because I need to play around save. I don't know, this game's hard. We lose anyways? No, we don't technically lose yet. It's still winnable. It's a little harder. I need, why is he killing all my mages? Your humble sir. <clears throat> He's counting. He sees the rages. We have a full wipe on back. He's gonna. Common folk. Mm. I care for them. Just wait. Shoop, madly made. Who broke drop you? Magic is the greatest good.